welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle today I'm going to be doing a vlog on the latest travel news worldwide part one so let's jump right into it now according to breakingtravelnews.com there's eight fantastic facts brand news latest news and um, some good some bad and um, so to find more about these uh, stories you can go on to late at breakingtravelnews.com so number one I'm going to fire away with CDC issues framework for cruise return in the United States so that's good news the centers for disease control and prevention has allowed a no sale order for cruise ships operating the united states waters to expire the move has seen as a first step towards the resumption of cruising in the USA which is again really good news um, especially for cruise operators and people as well that that want to go on a cruise um, in the United States number two unfortunately passenger slumps pus pushes Ryanair to first half loss the low car cost carrier Ryanair has reported a loss on 197 million euros for the first half of the financial 2020 as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to extract a huge toll on a, on the aviation sector um, again this is really uh, sad news um, because again uh, the United Kingdom for at least a month uh, the whole of the country unfortunately is going into lockdown so you won't be able to travel to other countries for at least a month um so and stay overnight at places so it is a real shame um but um again um i think the government um again have to do it to again try and say save christmas and new year and also try and make it better for next year and to start opening places up um after the month's lockdown at least um hopefully um but um, again, I hope Ryanair and um, other air carriers um, next year hopefully will pick up in passenger numbers. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Number three, Su uh, Silver Moon jo joins Silver Sea fleet. in Ancona Italy join the handover at financial shipyards in Ancona executives from Silver Sea Cruises and the Royal Caribbean Group expressed their gratitude to all involved uh, which is a nice thing uh, for both co uh, companies and um, so well done silver sea and um the royal caribbean group um number four Dunsit international signs a new japan property which is 
again good news for Donset International and Japan so well done and I hope it um, goes as well as possible in the future number five Air Franco and KLM report unfortunately a hundred and five billion euros loss for the third quarter I really hope Air, um, sorry, Air France and KLM um, pick up next year uh, fingers crossed um, that is I hope they can come back from it um, number six is uh, brilliant news uh, Kuwait uh, Airways welcomes a, a new Airbus a330 planes and the creator is Airbus so well done for Airbus and and Kuwait for that I hope it goes uh, really well in the future um, and I hope pass uh, passengers when it's again safe um, for them to travel um, we'll start travelling again um, number seven United Airways resigns mobile app for oh sorry United Airways redesigns mobile app for customers with uh, visual disabilities so again that's really good news for people with visual disabilities and United airlines so it's helping people find things on the website easier so well done to United Airlines I hope it has a positive impact for the airline number eight wow is the world travel awards uh, for to uh, tourism reveals Europe's 2020 winners wow these are the winners and uh, the, all these winners have done fa uh, fantastic and also places um, that have maybe just lo uh, lost out but I'm going to go through the fan um, fantastic winners now and they include the country Portugal uh, to emerge as Europe's leading destination so well done Portugal I have been to Portugal and um, from what I've seen of the Algarve it is a a spectacular place to visit Playa do Roca and Playa do Vu um, Port Mano um, really nice places to go and visit um, while the imperial splendor of the city of Moscow Russian Federation was acknowledged uh, with the award for Europe, uh, Europe's leading city destination and Europe's leading heritage destination so wow uh, they have won two awards uh, so well done to those um, the city of Moscow and the country uh, Russia the country in the hospitality sector Sir Craigen, excuse my pronunciation, Palin Kamsky, Istanbul, wow, was voted Europe's leading hotel. So well done uh, to that hotel and Istanbul in Turkey for that. I would love in the future to visit Istanbul in Turkey. I've been to um the beautiful south of Turkey um, such as Bondrum and Gumbit um, but I've not been to Istanbul I think it would be a very exciting place to go to um, as well it's, um, its capital city Ankara 
um, a London Beach hotel and villas in Greece was Europe's leading beach resort so well done to Luna Beach and hotel and villas in Greece um, again um, I've been to Greek islands Crete, Corfu, Sakynthos and Rhodes and um, uh, they have got some really good uh, beach resorts and um, Sardinia, Italy's Forte Village Resort has lifted the title for Europe's leading resort so well done uh, to Sardinia's Italy's Forte Village Resorts so all these awards um, are going to be really good for these countries so again again well done and hopefully it can lift tourism again in these countries as well uh, for the future uh, for and um, Italy has also a strong showing in the new mark categories while collecting Europe's leading new hotel for Plazo Ling Glero, excuse my pronunciation, your Europe's leading new resort, Lif Fay Resort and Spa in the Dolomites. So well done uh, to Italy and it's a brand new hotel and uh, Europe's leading hotel resort. Por uh, the Portuguese islands have enjoyed an excellent performance with Madeira voted Europe's leading island destination and the Azores islands uh, Europe's leading adventure tourism destination. So wow! Um, Again, those both of those two places or be or islands will be great. Again, sound great to visit. Um, again, if you want to do some adventure activities, then Azores are, are going to be perfect. Or if you wanted to uh, maybe go to a very beautiful green island, then Nadira looks. Um, again, um, brilliant to go and see. So well done. And uh, the spotlight has also shined on the seaside re resort of Batumi, Georgia, uh, named Europe's leading emergent em emerging tourism destination. The Langham, London, England is uh, the leading luxury hotel in England. There are more winners on breakingtravelnews.com uh, but again I wish um, all the winners uh, best of luck in the future and um, you've done a fantastic job and again I hope it encourages more tourism in those countries and um, other countries um, especially with these hotels and destin destinations such as villas and countries and cities in general win winning awards um, so again um, it shows you that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and um, again I wish um, all these uh, hotels and countries etc that have won and all the best for next year anyway I would like to say again for all the winners 
at the awards well done and um i really hope it brings happiness and more tourism in the future and to uh, places that um say have come runners up um i hope they have again also popularity in the future and um again i really hope that when it is safe for for everybody that um again numbers will go up to these destinations and other destinations in the future so thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you click the red and white subscribe button and click the notification bell um, i upload at least three to six times a week and i hope everybody stays safe and I, I wish everybody well in the future so bye for now and see you tomorrow um for uh, another vlog and and bye for now thank you bye